Hi kids, I'm Ruthie Ballard. And in this short educational video, I'm gonna talk about a pretty cool topic. What happens to the human body in outer space? I don't mean if you're inside a spacecraft or a space suit designed to keep you comfy, you'd feel pretty much normal if you were. Instead, we're going to explore what it would be like if you were in outer space with no protection, just maybe your clothes. You might wonder why anyone would ever find themselves in that situation, and it's rare to be sure it has happened. But in my science fantasy novels, the protagonists are whisked through a space-time tunnel to distant planet Earth. And as I was writing, I got to thinking, well, I could just have the kids shoot through the tunnel and let that be that, or I can engage my readers in some fun science, which would be far more interesting. So that's what I decided to do. In Frankie and the Gift of Fantasy, Frankie disappears into the tunnel through a crack in his bedroom ceiling. Let's see what it was like for him. The moment the violent jolt of electricity exited his toes, the crack opened up and he shot through it, then it snapped shut, returning to its original ordinary appearance as if nothing had happened. For one brief but creepy moment, Frankie found himself crouching in the cramped crawl space between his bedroom ceiling and the roof, staring into the eyes of a resident rat. But it was a short-lived encounter for a mysterious force sucked him upwards so fast that his body thinned and distorted into a long, flexible noodle, slender enough to thread through a small hole in the roof and into the blue sky beyond. Up, up, up he went, soaring through layer after layer of Earth's atmosphere, the sky growing darker and darker with each passing second until it was blacker than black and exploding with millions of twinkling stars. It was an astonishing sight, but didn't last long, for the stars quickly changed shape, morphing into colorful streaks. By then, you see, Frankie was shooting faster than the speed of light through a space-time tunnel on his way to a distant planet called the Earth. And when you're in a space-time tunnel, Stars look pretty weird. It was fortunate that his trip was speedy, for outer space is a hostile place for a human, and it's best to cross it as quickly as possible. Frankie soon found himself gasping for breath and chilled to the bone, for the vast, empty space between stars is airless and bitterly cold. But worst of all, the sudden change in external air pressure forced the gases in his lungs to expand and the water in his soft tissues to vaporize. The sensation was bizarre and so painful that Frankie instinctively tried to close his eyes to block out what was happening. But to his alarm, his lids wouldn't budge. The vacuum of space was tugging on his eyeballs, sucking them forward. Closing his eyes was impossible and he was in danger of losing them altogether. And no one wants to die as a blind bubbling ice cube gasping for air. So I'm pleased to inform you that Frankie was spared the state. Instead, the worst he suffered was a nasty sunburn from exposure to ultraviolet light as he whizzed past the Earth's sun, and he arrived at his final destination unscathed and back to his normal human boy shape again, standing upright in the middle of an alien forest, surrounded by trees bearing round purple fruit. You probably noticed that Frankie faced two major challenges while he was in the tunnel. He was freezing cold, and there was no air to breathe or to exert pressure on his body. That's very different from the conditions on the surface of Earth where life evolved, and Frankie surely felt the consequences. Note in particular what happened to the gases in his lungs and his soft tissues. Ouch! Something similar happens to scuba divers when they ascend from the deep ocean too quickly. It's called decompression sickness, or more often, the bends. Stay tuned for another video that explores the bends in more detail. The protagonist in my third book in the Tales by Moonlight series, Elvia Hill, finds out all about them. Wow, that was fun.